I think the only other time I got to go uh, to this level was in Blue Valentine. Derek is Derek is a very special filmmaker, and he works in a way that's 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 unlike anyone else. They're having more fun than us in the other room. It, it, it's strange working with him because I've made two movies with him, and I still um, I still don't understand how he does it. You know, because he works with all the actors privately, so I have never seen him work with another actor. You know. Uh, I only have my experience with him. If he's going to talk to another actor, they go away and then they come back. And uh, but he he's he's not interested in the scene. He wants he wants you to to live through the experience of these characters. So you never really know what's going to happen, and you never know what the other actors are going to say or do. And you don't know. He's looking. He wants life to interfere with the scene. So he's always trying to find a way to mess it up or to break it. But the thing about Derek is that everybody, everybody does their best work in his film. You know, I mean, everybody in this film is, is uh, I mean, the, the performances across the board, even from non-actors. Or I mean, some of my favorite performances in this film are, are the non-actors. You know, uh, the the police chief. You know, I mean, that guy's he's incredible, and he'd never been in a film before in his life. You know, it's Derek. Uh, I don't know how he does it. It's a very mysterious process to me, but he somehow manages to uh, to uh, bring out uh, the best in everyone. Um, I feel like I'm I, I, I'm really enjoying working with uh, uh, this, the same filmmakers. You know, making more than one film with just one person. I think you kind of develop a a shorthand with that person in the first film and then in the second film you're able to sort of hit the ground running and you trust them more and you're able to kind of uh, really mine what's what's between you you know much you're able to go much deeper than you are in one film I rode motorcycles for a few months with this guy Rick Miller who, who was my uh, teacher and he was also my stunt double in the film but he's Batman. When Batman gets on a motorcycle, that's Rick Miller. So I learned from the best. But that's great, though. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it was always a fantasy of mine to rob banks. You know, I've always. I'm just scared of jail. But I would if if there wasn't jail, I'd probably I would do it. But I can't. Uh, I, I can't, so I won't. But I got to do it in this film. It was strange because I told Derek if I were to rob a bank, I would do it on a motorcycle, and I would drive into a U-Haul truck parked around the corner and they're looking for a, a motorcycle, not a U-Haul truck. And he said, uh, that's strange because I just wrote a movie about that. Really? That's yeah. Great. So and it felt kind of meant to be. It's a, but it's a, the, the smartest way, I think, to roll a bank is like that. Yeah, well, there was an Israeli guy that did, that did it like that and he, uh, I think he got away with like 50 bank robberies or something. That's great. Yeah. It's a lot of improvisation. I mean, there's a, a lot of, uh, you know, Derek is, gets bored easily. So you're just constantly having to uh, do it again and do it a different way. How much uh, do you think it's a story of fathers and sons? I mean, I, th I think it is, uh, that's, that's, I mean, Derek wrote the film because he was having his second son and he was uh, concerned about his, uh, what he calls a fire, you know? That, uh, that scares him and his father had it and his father's father had it and he was concerned that he was going to pass that on to his son. Mm -hmm. And so the film was, I think, a, a, like a, an exploration of that. How important is the wardrobe and the makeup and the changing of your hair to, to leave, uh, in this case, that you're a, new, a guy who is mm. a motorcycle rider? I mean, all those things are, you know, you try a million things to get into character. I mean, they're all different avenues in. And not everything at the end of the day is, is what matters. You know, all those things that might be superfluous at the end of the day, but for whatever reason, they help to give you some kind of access or understanding of the character. And, and when it's over, you know, you, the character is an amalgamation of all those different, um, you know, uh, all those different avenues. That's that's your dream is that you'll have those moments where, where you'll, uh, 
uh, you know, where, where you'll get out of the way of, of the character and the scene. And, and so, but it's easier to achieve that on something like this because it's a full immersion. You know, you, you are living the life of these characters. You're not uh, breaking character and then, and then uh, you know, uh, having a completely different experience between, uh, between cut and action. I think it's very therapeutic and obviously I feel like everybody, you know, everybody should act. They should, they, that's just actors, you know, it should be, uh, everyone should just go join a theater company and, and, and try playing somebody that's completely different from who they are. I, you know, I, I don't, it's not, talking about uh, the experience of making them is more fun than talking about, you know, your thoughts on the film or the character, because it, I think a, an actor's job is we're supposed to sort of be like a journalist or something, you know, or we're supposed to be, a, um, um, be you know, like objective. And I don't want to, you know, I, I, I'm just supposed to sort of uh, give a, 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 a um, like an objective perspective on this person. I do the research on them, you know, but then I have to kind of portray them in the film, but I. Maybe it's an affectionate portrait, but I can't try and editorialize too much, and and it's too easy to sort of start like trying to lead the witness and try and make the audience think what you want them to think about the film or the character. So I gotta watch myself.